Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest news regarding the October update for Windows 11 22H2. So last night, Microsoft announced that they are rolling out the new features, basically the October update to the Windows 11 22H2 in the release preview channel. So if you have Windows 11 22H2 installed and you are enrolled in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program as I am on this machine, you will be able to get the new features that you can encounter in the October update. Microsoft also stated that this is not available for everyone. So a few people that are enrolled in the release preview channel will have access to the new October update. Make sure you are on the build 20,621.608 in order to get or be able to receive the new October update for Windows 11 22H2 in the release preview channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about a bit what you can encounter in this new October update and when can we expect it on the main release. Release. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So the October update for Windows 11 22H2 will bring up a few new interesting additions to Windows 11. An interesting addition would be the tabs in the file explorer. That is a feature that is expected by everyone and also suggested actions is another feature that will be added and this will provide suggestions when you copy a phone number or a date. It will help you call that number or add an event to the calendar app and so on. Also, we have a new taskbar overflow for the taskbar. If somehow your taskbar gets full of icons, you will be able to have a new menu that will help you with this taskbar overflow. You've seen those features in previous videos that I've showed you on the channel. And also you can now share to more devices. You can discover and share to more devices, including desktops using a nearby sharing. Don't forget that all these new features that you will be able to encounter in the October update can already be enabled on the main release of Windows 11 22H2. I've made a lot of videos about this and you're going to have two links in the description below. One of them being the video in which I show you how to enable the tabs in the file explorer and one of them being how to enable every other new feature or hidden feature from Windows 11 22H2. But this is good news that Microsoft is releasing this to a small number of Windows insiders from the release preview channel. This means that maybe next week or two weeks from now we can have the October update date for Windows 11 22H2 on the main release as well. So these are the news for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.